Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. Uh, so I'm going to do, be doing a little bit of a, a mod update video for you guys. These next couple mods coming in, I'm really excited about. I, I just wanted to update you guys and share with you because, uh, you know, I want to let you guys let you guys know what's coming, what to expect. As always, you know, I'm not, I don't hide anything. I'm not, uh, you know, doing any unveilings or surprises or anything like that. It's just very simple. Let you know, let you guys know what's coming, you know, and I'm just going to do my basic uh, reviews and unboxings and installs. I do have the new wheels coming. I already got the tires. Uh, but the new wheels will be in supposedly in August as of right now that may change hopefully it's a little bit sooner uh, you know but you never know with with customs and, and what can happen but hopefully August there's a few other things that I currently still have that I need to install I still need to install the super pro uh, rear lower control arms going to do that probably in August because uh, I have an appointment set up in August because I want to get wait to get my new wheels before I get the alignment done I want to make sure I get you know the fitment I want and everything I want to lower the front a little bit more uh, so I'm going to be installing those uh, and getting a full complete you know proper proper alignment on the car uh, so those will be installed too I still have them sitting in the garage uh, but I definitely that's gonna be installed I also have the uh, headlights that I always keep on mentioning I just haven't had the motivation to get them done I still have the diodynamic sea lights as well as a smoked reflector to install I've just been slacking on that I just haven't had the motivation and time to do it I should have done it uh, during the whole quarantine and everything but I just I never got around to it so that is definitely something I'm going to do in the near future uh, so stay tuned for that a lot of other cars that I'm interested in are Germans um, and a lot of those German cars that that interest me uh, a lot of companies have some really nice carbon fiber products unfortunately for the Subaru or an STI there's not many engine bay kind of dress up carbon fiber parts uh, yes there's a ton of different you know exterior and visual aesthetic carbon fiber parts but you know that to me it looks nice but it doesn't serve a purpose you know there's only so much carbon fiber you can do before it gets too tacky and my opinion it's very easy to go overboard with carbon fiber on this car and I don't want to do that carbon fiber on the engine bay just really kind of speaks to me mainly because it's hidden and it's it's mainly for my eyes and everything and kind of I don't know every time I open the hood it excites me a Cobb just released their new red line carbon fiber intake and their end and their uh, alternator belt cover whatever you want to call it uh, in carbon fiber it's it's their new red line as they call it it was something that I just it released and I jumped on it right away I have no issues and no problems with my current Cobb SF intake here uh, as well as the alternator cover from Perrin I love both of these they perform great there's probably this is easily the best intake that you can get for these cars in terms of actual performance gains and being able to have consistent numbers um, there's a lot of them out there but these are the best ones uh, if not just stay stock don't don't really change it if, unless you're going with the Cobb. Like I said, Cobb just released a full carbon fiber intake. And it's from the snorkel, the whole thing, <laughs> which is really nice. A lot of intakes are just, you know, this piece right here, uh, but Cobb released a full one piece carbon fiber intake. Had to have it. So I'm really, really excited about that. They also released a um, belt alternator cover for right here. It's not something you desperately need or you need to complete the intake, but uh, I would think it was about 125 bucks. They, they kind of made both of them at the same time. So the weaves line up perfectly and me being the OCD kind of person that I am, it was something that was just like, duh, why not? It's only 100, 125 bucks. Might as well just get it and do the whole, you know, Cobb red line, um, you know, intake and every engine bay redesign that they just did. So I figured might as well do it. Those are coming in on Monday. I was hoping to have them in by the weekend or before for the weekend so I can install it all over the long uh, holiday weekend and have a video out for you guys on Monday, but that's just not the way it works. It'll be here on Monday. So I'm gonna do my typical unboxing, showing every little thing that you get inside the package when you do order this. Oh, this is something brand new that, I, that not a lot of people really are getting because it is pretty expensive. So I think it'll be a good video so you guys can see uh, just what you get, the quality and everything. Supposedly, just by seeing their videos and reading up on it and everything and, and talking with Cobb, it's, it's a really, really high quality, nice piece. It is expensive. So if you are looking for an intake and you don't have the means to go for their, their full carbon fiber redline version uh, you know there's no there's no shame in that you know I have their their current uh, SF intake uh, which is about just under 400 bucks it's still pricey but it's a really nice uh, OEM plus looking piece the Cobb carbon fiber redline one that it just released that I'm getting is 650 bucks <laughs> and it's purely for sound uh, there is some gains when you get it properly tuned and everything but you know it's 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 debatable but even so uh, I wanted it. It was something that I just had to have, uh, especially with the carbon fiber, you know, fender shrouds there. I think it's going to look really, really nice. So with that said, I am selling 
this Cobb SF intake as well as the parent alternator cover. Uh, so if anybody is interested, just let me know. I put it up on my Instagram and a lot of people are interested in both of them, but nobody has spoken for it as of right now. If that changes, I'll put a, I'll put a note on the video uh, just to let you know it was sold and, and spoken for. But as of right now, uh, nobody has, has bought it. So if you're interested, just let me know. I'll be happy to, uh, to sell it to you. I was thinking about doing a giveaway, <laughs> but uh, I kind of got to recoup a little bit on the, uh, the price that I just paid for the intake and everything. So I'm probably just going to sell them and, and uh, not do giveaway at this time since I did just do one. But I am really, really excited for the next round of mods for this car. I hope you guys are too. It's going to be a pretty cool, I don't want to say it's a series, but a pretty cool next couple videos uh, of, of some serious mods that um, I think a lot of people will be interested in seeing my review and details and everything that I, I normally do. Um, so I'm really excited for that and I hope you guys are too. In regards to the hood, I did mention what I was going to do and I'm still going to do it. It's still in the works. It's still uh, on the list of things that I want to do with the wheels, the tires, uh, the alignment that I'm getting soon. Um, and now that the $800 I just spent basically on uh, the, all the Cobb products that I just got. The hood is on, on the back burner just for a little bit, just so I can recoup a bit because, you know, for lack of better terms, this shit is expensive and I'm sure all you can relate. It's not something that I had to do, mainly because, you know, I have an intake that's working perfectly fine. There's no really need to do it other than just wanting carbon fiber in my uh, engine bay and having the latest and greatest from Cobb. I'm not going to hide behind that, but as you can tell, uh, all this stuff is expensive and I'm just a normal dude in the garage with a full-time job and i um, just buying car parts because I like doing it myself and I decided to share it with you guys. I hope you understand that and don't think I'm some guy that money grows on trees and uh, I can just do whatever I want whenever I want. You know, I'm not, I'm not at that point in my life yet and I'm sure a lot of you can relate and I'll try to always be that way because I understand I'm one of you and I can't just start buying car parts left and right uh, like all these famous wealthy YouTubers and everything do that. But I'm doing what I can, so I hope you understand the, um, the hood project, the hood modification is still gonna happen, just not right this second. Uh, maybe in a, a couple months, uh, maybe around September or something after I get all the other mods that I'm doing done, but I'm still leaning towards the VIS V2 carbon fiber hood. I'm gonna get it painted, lapis blue, leave the vents exposed, leave the uh, air cooling back here exposed as well on carbon fiber. So it should be a pretty, pretty cool mod. Uh, but yeah, man, uh, I just wanted to update you guys on what's coming and I'm really, really excited about this. I, I you know, it's something that I felt that the STI or the Subaru community was lacking because there's not many carbon fiber or really, really high quality intakes or, or uh, you know, engine bay dress up kind of parts that you can find with a, you know, BMW M3, uh, Audis, especially with, with APR and all that. I just want to say, you know, mods for this car is a little bit, uh, on the more reasonable side as opposed to something you know Porsche or BMW or Audi related where it's you know crazy expensive you know for a BMW E90 M3 uh, to do the whole Eventuri intake and, and platinum and all that stuff it's like three thirty five hundred dollars just for intake sound it doesn't give you any performance gains it's literally just for a look and sound so just kind of you know in relation to show you what we're looking at here uh, 650 bucks basically for an intake or four thousand dollars for an intake from Eventuri uh, for a BMW kind of puts things into perspective I understand 650 dollars is not cheap trust me I had to pucker my butt when I when I click submit but just in relation to some things out there that that are you know carbon fiber or um, something that's just you know upping the quality of the car and the, and the mod for this specific car. I did bite the bullet. I did do it. I'm really excited about it, and I hope you guys are too. Good set of mods coming. I'm really excited for everything. As you can tell, videos have slowed down a little bit. I'm kind of leaning towards doing uh, videos every like Monday, Wednesday, Friday kind of thing. Uh, if I do have the content available, obviously I'll release it more often. I love doing the daily uploads, but you know. I have a full-time job, I am a full-time husband, I'm a full-time father, you know, I have a lot of things on my plate, and sometimes just being able to do uploads every single day is, uh, you know, it's hard to do, it's a lot of work. Trying my best, trying to keep through the Monday to Monday, Wednesday, Friday kind of uploads. Could change, uh, you know, when I get all these new mods coming in that I just explained, you know, I'm gonna have probably videos every single day, so based on what's coming in, the content I have available, you know, that will change. That's it for this one, guys. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching. I hope you're excited for the new round of mods coming in. I am super excited for the uh, Cobb Redline intake and everything coming in. Uh, that's gonna be a really, really cool video and something that obviously I don't think anybody has done a video on besides Cobb yet because uh, it's, it's brand new. Yeah guys, that's it for this one. Keep it clean, keep it simple. I'll catch you in the next one.